What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers. And welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel side and you want to join my content, you can smash this up button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general oracle card reading for sign of Sag. So this could resonate if you have Sag in any aspects of your charts, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hamda, Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general general oracle card reading for sign of Sagittarius for the month of June of 2022. However, like I said, we still have like about a little over a week left of May. So for some of you guys, it could start resonating now, some June, some after June, so on, so on, and so forth. There's millions of billions of people in the world, ton of Sagittarius. So, you know, you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Uh, one message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug yourself in accordingly wherever you resonate, if you do resonate, okay? Um, I encourage everyone to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node um, signs. And cross watchers are always welcome. Holy crap. Um, I did receive a channel message in as I was meditating on your June of 2022's reading. And I heard... Um, Secret competitiveness between co-workers are about to backfire, is what I heard. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates, uh, Sag. It could be you secretly competing with a co-worker or somebody you're connected to secretly competing with a co-worker because energies can be, can be reversed. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. Are you low vibrational and you're secretly, secretly competing with a co-worker or are you not low vibrational and you're just focusing on self with self-love and growing and moving forward. Um, however, that resonates and applies in one's life, but somebody is secretly competing with a coworker, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to, and it's not the backfire on them. I'll tell you that. So uh, only you know your story, not anybody else, Sagittarius. And that could be the persevering you will overcome problems as well, the secretly competing with a coworker. Maybe for some of you guys, somebody secretly competing with you is what I'm feeling. With the persevering you will overcome uh, problems. So I'm feeling for some, somebody secretly competing with you. Um, that's exactly what I'm feeling for some of you guys. Uh, but only you know your story, not anybody else. You have to plug it in how it resonates, okay? I honestly, while I'm shuffling out, I'll just tell you guys, I never understand the whole secretly competing with anybody any freaking body because um that's not what life's about life is not about secretly competing with people period point point blank bar none it's about healing yourself healing growing manifesting yourself not secretly competing with somebody and when you secretly compete with somebody you haven't done your healing and shadow work you haven't worked on yourself you haven't done the work you need to do on yourself because you're focusing on trying to secretly compete with somebody else. Spirit messages you have for the collective. It's really freaking sad. Broken wishbone. Wish will not be granted. Oh. Yeah. They're flying everywhere. Cat, a two-faced friend. Yes. It's all in the messages in the cards. I strongly feel one of you guys, somebody is secretly competing with you, Sagittarius, according to the messages in the cards. Persevering you overcome problems, the secretly competing energy, a two-faced friend, co-worker energy. They are not, they're going to smile on your face, but not tell you they're secretly competing with you. Wish will not be granted. It's about the uh, secretly competing energy. It's about the backfire. Yeah. I strongly feel for at least one of you guys, somebody is secretly competing with you. For some, you could be secretly competing with somebody else. I mean, only you know your story, not anybody else. But I'm strongly feeling for a lot of you guys, somebody is uh, secretly competing with you according to the messages in the cards. But only you know your story, not anybody else. Well, you know, if somebody's secretly competing with you, you know, I heard it's going to backfire on them. So you just let them dig themselves their own grave there. Um and keep mo focusing and manifesting and building and growing yourself. I mean, we all have problems to overcome, all have things to persevere with. So, you know, just let them dig their own grave. Spirit messages you have like this. It's really sad. It's really sad is what it is.
butterfly. Cosmic Egg. We are meant to do two like this. Someone is about to request money back soon. Okay, I heard someone is about to request money back soon. Um, so you plug it in your life, how it resonates. It could be you requesting money back, Sagittarius, from person, people, place, situation, or organization. Or someone requesting money back from you. For some, I feel you might own a business and they might request money back from you. Or you might be a purveyor of business or businesses and you are requesting a refund in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else. You have to plug it in how it resonates. But some kind of um, request a refund, whether you're requesting the refund or um, someone's requesting it from you. And if they're requesting it from you, obviously I'm feeling you have a business. Sanctuary. Experiment to just your perspective. A Sagittarius is about to be shocked through many series of chain events when a feminine energy moves. Distant locations. Okay, you plug it in how it resonates. Heard a Sagittarius is about to be shocked when a fem energy moves distant locations. So only you know your story, not anybody else, Sagittarius. Um, I heard it's not you in this situation. It is a feminine energy you either are currently connected to or it's or somebody of your past. However, that plugs in resonates with your life. But it's some kind of feminine energy you know, either from recent past, long past, or currently. Heard you're going to be shocked when she moves. So, um, so, and I heard uh, long, far locations. So, you know, it's going to be a distance. It's going to be a distance she moves. I don't know why you're going to be shocked she she moves. Um, maybe you never thought she would. Maybe you didn't think she had the money. Blasey, blasey, blasey. But um, so, for some reason, you're going to be shocked. So, you plug it in how it resonates. But honestly, if somebody's not properly growing and uh, flourishing in their community or area, I mean, why not to start afresh in the energetic space and uh, get around new person, people, place, and situations and grow and flourish? Because obviously the area they're in right now, they're not growing and flourishing, so it doesn't make sense to stay stuck and stagnant. So I don't blame this person, whoever they are. Number 28 or 26 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 28 or 26, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in your life in some shape, form, or fashion, 28 or 26. Um, we, you're dealing with air sign energy in here and the cosmic egg energy. That's just the ether energy. So um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy and the ethers of the universe energy. Um, so I strongly feel some of you guys are dealing with air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts, if you are. And then the ethers of the universe energy, that's everybody in the ethers. Butterfly. A Sagittarius is about to have a major glow up. And someone connected to you is about to have a major glow up. 
Oh, hashtag glow up energy in here. So you plug it in how it resonates, if that resonates for you. Okay, so for one of you Sages, masculine or fem, I'm feeling, you plug it in how it resonates, you're about to have a glow up. So hashtag glow up, about to glow up. I love glow ups, just saying. And for one of you guys, somebody connected to you is going to have glow up. So I feel they could be masculine or feminine, but they're about to have a glow up. And for one of you guys, you're about to have glow up. So I feel this is the hashtag glow up energy um, coming out of the cocoon and turning into a butterfly. Glowing up, baby. Ah, just saying. That's really beautiful. Um, maybe they're going to spread their wings and fly, like move locations, possibly for some. For some, it could be some other kind of way they're hashtag glowing up. However, that resonates. Cosmic egg. The universe and the ethers are about to make a huge, huge, huge event happen soon. For some with the family, an abused family of the past. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, I heard the ethers are about to make a huge, huge, huge event happen soon um, with the family, um, an abused family of the past. So... I think it's a positive event um i think it's a positive event with this family abused family in the past i heard they were abused so they were abused i mean i hope well if they were abused in the past they deserve some positive karma and i'm just being for real for real so um the ethers is the universe it's the universe it's collective it's um the world so i think the many people in the world in the collective in the universe are about maybe they're going to pitch in and help this family or deliver information to help this family or something of that nature. It's a um, abused family of the past. I think Secret Seven, I didn't hear Secret Seven, but I do feel Secret Seven. I was picking up Secret Seven energy. Hold on one second. Gavin, I need my charger. It's about to die. Hold on one second, you guys. I apologize. Hello? Hi. Yes, ma'am. All right, thank you. All right, bye. All right, so sorry. Okay, yeah, I've got to, um, this will be, this is not going to be any longer than 30 more minutes. I've got a plumber coming today. Um, my drains are backed up. My drains are backed up in both of my sinks and my kitchen. So I've got a plumber coming and they just called us and they'd be here in about 30 minutes. So I gotta finish this. Okay. So yeah, so I heard um the people in the collective, people in the collective is about to help this family, this abused family of the past, whoever this abused family is to you and however they resonate. I, like I said, I do feel secret seven. I didn't hear it, but I was picking, uh, I was hearing secret seven and cancers. So, um, it may be for some, for some, it may not be only, you, only, you know, you're story, not anybody else. I got the camera on. So this aspect is the ethers. It's the universe. It's the ethers. It's the, um, I feel it's many people. Um, I think they're going to help this family grow and fly away from some kind of toxicity. I heard they've been abused. For some of these families, it could have been years they were abused. But I think they're about to help them fly. I think they're going to deliver information maybe to federal agents or to authorities. Or it might be financial assistance or something like that. But I'm, I hopefully they get the damn feds in there and start busting some criminals is what I'm hoping. But you plug it in how it resonates. Persevere and you overcome problems. I think this is secretly competing energy in a workplace situation for one of you guys. And I'm just being 
so serious with these cards. All three of these and that message is, I'm feeling some one of you guys has somebody secretly competing with you in a workplace. Secretly competing energy in a workplace never works out for anybody. And I just want to throw that out there. It just never does because it doesn't produce anything positive. A Sagittarius is about to get into a huge argument with a Pisces soon. A huge argument. Some with a Scorpio. Some it's over money. Some it's over an illegal business of the past. Some it's over IRS communication. Some it's over a lawsuit. Oh, my Lord, you plug it in, how it resonates. So, some of you guys, it sounds like you're about to get into a huge, um, it sounds like verbal argument. I don't feel physical altercation here, but only you know your story, not anybody else. Some with the um, Piscean, some with the Scorpio. Um, they could have Pisces or Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus. Some with the Libra. Some with the Libra. Some with the Pisces, some with the Scorpio, some with the Libra. They could have Pisces, Scorpio, or Libra in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, work them in Haven, Jupiter charts, masculine or feminine energies. You plug them in, how it resonates. Um, but I heard some over um, an illegal business of the past, some over money, some over um, uh, IRS communication, and some over a lawsuit. So persevere and you overcome problems. I think this is the IRS communication. I think it's negative, and I'm just being real, because why are you arguing over it and having to persevere over problems? For some, it's an illegal business of the past, and that could be the IRS communication too, possibly, uh, for some. Um, tax evasion, possibly. For some, um, stolen money. And for some, um, uh, what was the other one? Um, I forget the other one. You have to go back and check it. Oh, lawsuit. A lawsuit. So, I think one of you guys is getting a lawsuit placed on you is what I'm feeling for some. Or, you're going to place a lawsuit on somebody else. Um, but I think this communication is about to go into the ethers, go into the universe, go pretty public, maybe for some of you guys. I didn't hear it was going to be public, but I'm feeling for some, you might make the communication public. Um, or you might communicate with many people about this because you have the ether energy in here. Um, I think it's going to upset you is what I'm feeling. A two-faced friend. A Sagittarius is about to find out about a doppelganger Aquarian. For some, they're going to expose this person on social media. Oh, my Lord. I think one of you guys has a doppelganger Aquarian. Um, and I'm just being real. I heard you're about to find out about a doppelganger Aquarian. Um, so I feel you be masculine or feminine energy, whoever you are, but I heard you're about to find out about a doppelganger Aquarian, and you're about to, uh, for some of you guys, you're about to expose them very publicly on social media. So I think one of you guys has a doppelganger Aquarian energy. You can be masculine or femme. They could have Aquarius in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in Henry Jupiter charts. You could have Sag in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in Henry Jupiter charts. How that resonates, but um, a doppelganger is somebody, for anybody doesn't know, is somebody that basically copycats and conforms their um they either naturally physically look just like you they either naturally physically look just like you and it's nothing to do with the inside it's just physical external experience uh physical external um appearance basically for doppelganger or they have recreated themselves to physically externally look just like you however that applies and resonates in one's life but i feel one of you guys has a doppelganger Aquarian energy or somebody else has a doppelganger Aquarian energy however that resonates but whether it's your doppelganger Aquarian energy or somebody else's doppelganger Aquarian energy you're about to find out about this person for some of you guys and I heard you for some you're going to expose them very publicly on social media so I feel for some it could have been your frenzy frenzy 
is what I'm feeling. They could have been your frenzy frenzy and got in real nicey nice with you, you know, like sneaky, shiesty, snake like people do, and um, just to betray you. So I'm feeling for some, it is your sneaky, shiesty, Aquarian doppelganger. For some, it could be somebody else's. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else. But definite, I don't feel this Aquarian energy is a positive of energy to you. I heard you're about to expose their ass on social media. So, um, and you're about to find out about them. So, and this could be your Aquarian energy too, possibly. Your air sign energy here. Um, air sign energy about to be exposed very publicly on social media in the ethers, in the universe. Oh my God. Yep. It's clear as day in the cards and the messages. Wow. You plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap. Broken wishbone. Wish will not be granted. For one of these Aquarians, they are a feminine energy. You are a feminine energy. There is going to be a very significant photo of a ball gown. This person in a ball gown. You're about to make it very public. For one. Oh my lord. Okay, so for one of you guys, I heard there's about to be a very significant photo of this Aquarian, feminine Aquarian energy in a ball gown. And I heard you're going to make it very, very, very public. I think you're about to expose her. Um, you're about to post her all over social media is what it sounds like. Um... I feel for some she's doppelganging you. Um, for some she'd be doppelganging somebody else. But her, it sounds like her upcoming in the universe in a picture of a ball gown, it sounds like very nice ball, ball gown, is about to become very significant. Whether she's doppelganging you or somebody else. And social media is about to become very significant, i.e. the ethers in the universe um, and the collective here. Um, this is your Aquarian in the ball gown. And you're about to expose her ass on social media. Now, I, whatever social media platform you expose her on, Facebook, Insta, Parlay, um, Blasey, 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 I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But it sounds like her upcoming in the universe sounds like she's about to go to an event. And it sounds like a pretty fancy-ass event. Um, but her in a ball gown, at this, uh, either at this event or just in a ball gown, period, is about to become significant and Social media picture of her in a ball gown is about to be significant. You plug it in, how it resonates. Broken wishbone, wish will not be granted. A Sagittarius is about to sit their spouse down. Some marriage counseling, some finalization. You want a non-contested divorce, but no, it will be contested. Oh, my Lord. Woo. I've been pulling in a lot of divorce energy this round. I just want to throw that out there. I've been pulling in a lot of divorce energy. So you plug in and how it resonates. So for some of you guys, um, you're married. You're legally married, but it sounds like you're unhappy. Some of you, it sounds like you want to fix it. Some, it sounds like you don't. Some, I heard you're going to sit your partner down. So your spouse, you could be masculine or pin sad. You plug it in how it resonates in your own life. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But you're going to sit your partner down. And I heard for some, you're going to suggest marriage counseling. For some, you're going to... Um, so you want to work on it. You want to work on it with the marriage counseling. For some, you want to, um, you just want to do the damn thing. You just want a divorce. I don't blame you. I've been divorced. It was one of the best things ever happened to me. Um, but only you know your story, not anybody else. Um, but anyways, um, so I heard you're going to sit them down. And I heard you want a non-contested. So you don't want to fight, argue, and scream and holler. You just want to agree, sign the papers, get her done. I don't blame you. But I heard just know it will be contested. So... If that message applies for you. Um, sounds like you want to do it in a very civil, split everything, I'm hoping, in a very fair way, um, if you have assets. But um, it doesn't sound like this person wants to. It doesn't sound like they want to. And it sounds like um, they're going to fight you because I heard it will be contested. And trust me, I know because I wanted non-contested with my divorce too. And um, 
I spent two years in the court system fighting my ex-husband until we got divorced. So I get it. But um, I'm sorry for whoever that's for. It's sucky, but it happens. So um, for one, you're going to sit down and suggest marriage counseling. For one, you want a non-contested divorce. But I heard it's going to be contested. So whoever that's for, wish will not be granted. You want the contested divorce. Uh, I'm sorry, you want the non-contested divorce. But it will go contested. Just know, know that if that message applies for you. And um, maybe the... Uh, suggestion of the marriage counseling. Maybe some of your partners agree to this. Maybe some they won't. I don't know. But somehow a wish will not be granted. I think there might be blowback from your partner with the marriage counseling or the working on the marriage. And especially with the non-contested divorce, it sounds like they're going to fight you. And for some, this could be your partner. Your two-faced friend, uh, cat, two-faced friend could be your partner. Um, maybe refusing to get marriage counseling or maybe refusing to get the uh, contested divorce, I mean, I'm sorry, the non-contested divorce, and they want to contest it. Just saying, just saying. Sanctuary. A Sagittarius feminine is about to do something she never thought she would do. She's about to make a very significant phone call in a company to refer a feminine energy. Referral bonus for her and for you. Okay, well, that's a good one. So you plug it in how it resonates, Sag. You're a Sag fam, if that resonates for you. Heard you're about to do something you never thought you would do. Um, I heard you're about to make a phone call soon and um, refer somebody. You, It sounds like you never thought you would refer this person or you never thought you'd make the phone call to refer. But it sounds like it, I heard referral bonus for you and her. So it sounds like you'll get a, um, you'll get, hell, you'll get some bank out of this and so will she. So it sounds like it'll, um, help everybody in this situation. It sounds like it's for a job, um, obviously, because I heard referral bonus. So, um, sanctuary in this aspect, I think, is, um, wow, that's quick. They're already here. Is um, helping her, helping her. Hey, Gavin, try to get the door open for me. They're here. Okay, let me see if I hear anything real quick. I got to go. Victory. You will have lost of success in this referral. Know this. You really, really will. Explain the situation. Okay, just crack it because they're here. I heard you will have lots of success in this situation. Know this. Um, uh, explain the situation. So a victory in this referral situation. You plug it in how it resonates, okay? I think you're about to help get somebody out of a toxic situation. It's exactly what I think. And you're about to, for some, I think you're going to help them relocate far places. Um, and they're going to get a referral bonus. Maybe for some... Maybe for some, you explain the situation, they get a relocation relocation bonus as well, possibly for some. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else, okay? You have to plug it in how it resonates. But I'm feeling for some, if you explain the situation, maybe you can get them a relocation bonus as well with the referral bonus. And you get the referral bonus too. Two, but only you know your story, not anybody else, okay? A winning race is about to become significant in Sagittarius' life. Okay, I heard a winning race is about to become significant in a Sagittarius' life. Some kind of winning race energy. It could be you winning this race or somebody you're connected to or a child, possibly. Somebody's about to win a race, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to. Okay, I've really got to go. Um, he's, Mr. Reuter is about to come up and go. Love you guys. Namaste.